Alright. Hello, and welcome back to Dragon Quest 7. As I try to psych myself up with this part here. Yay. Green, okay. A gardening community, I guess. Green Tong. Oh no, not again! Huh. Don't tell me. I mean, we've seen this before. People turn to stone statues. Oh wow. Everybody here. Oh wait a minute. Uh, back in Regenstein, whatever, Regenstein, it was because of a purple rain, purple rain, what, what is this, Prince? It was because of a rain that turned people to stone. Like that guy there, who would have been, who was obviously caught out in it. But what about these people? They're indoors. Oh well, whatever. Of course, back at Regenstein, we went to the top of the tallest pillar in town and spread those angel tears. So I'm guessing that's what we gotta do here as well. So, except for there, we didn't have a boss. Here we do. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Really, you big blowhard? Actually, hold on. Hold that thought. Ow! Really? Goosebumps as a status sale. Seriously, I mean, I know I've mentioned this before in other videos for this series, but what kind of time restraints were they on when they thought of that one? Goosebumps as a status sale. Ridiculous. Or is that just another one of those things lost in translation? Oh no, game. Don't give me goosebumps. Oh no, not that. Please, anything but 
Yeah, right. Oh, good, we got him anyways. Maribel didn't survive, but... Can't do anything about that. I don't have the Zing spell. Not that that's terribly reliable in the first place. I mean, it's always described as a 50 chance... 50% 50 chance of, of working. Haha. <laughs> More like a 5% chance, but yeah. Okay, may not be that low, but certainly not a 50% chance either. More like 40 at best, anyway. So... I even still have it on my... It has to be in here somewhere. It's one of those items the game wouldn't let you sell if you tried to. Yeah, there it is. Which is good, because if you did sell this item, you'd be screwed now. Oh, okay. Oh, heaven forbid, I didn't actually step one pixel square forward so that the game triggers this dialogue. Oh, heaven forbid. Picky, picky, picky. Man. Okay. Yeah, if you did, act, did, if you were allowed to and did sell this after the Regenstein scenario... You'd be jolly well screwed now. I don't know. They'd have to. They'd have to include it in some item shop that you could, where you could buy it back or something. Anyways, Why? Oh, yeah. All right, let's do this. was that rain? Okay. Again, video game logic. If it was that rain that hit, that struck Regenstein that got here too, how did it get these people inside under cover of roof or however you want to put that? What? Is it pour in through the ceiling? I mean, you could maybe try to argue that 
they managed to make it inside first. But we saw how effective that was. I mean, what, uh, freaking, what was that guy? Patrick's father, the guy that was at the bar before he stepped out. You know, and then, then the rain hit, and he tried to go back in, but he couldn't even open the door before he got petrified. So yeah, again, how did? Anyways, again, video game logic. Don't even try to figure it out. Just go with it. The more you try to figure it out, the more you end up having more questions than you did before you started. Somehow, rain got to them. Indoors. Yeah. How? Because video games. That's how. Anyways, before I go on with this scenario... Well, if the game would shut up and let me... We're carrying... Well, we're not really carrying it around, but... Uh, wait a minute, where's the... Live. Why do you even bother asking, game? How many dead party members do I have? Gee, I think the I think the uh, answer here is quite obvious. I mean, I could see asking that question if there was more than one, but yeah. No, don't you know? I want to revive Kiefer, even though he's not dead. Uh-huh. Why? Because I like wasting my time, okay? There, that's better. I mean, I don't like the Maribel character, at least not yet, until a little later in the game. But I don't like seeing a coffin following us either, so... Now then... Well, there's a procession here. What? Oh, more like cement, but okay. Wait a minute, he's still a statue? What? Wait a minute. How can he still be... Video game logic is at it again. How can he still be petrified? No one else in town still is. No, not this jerk again. Well, I'm not gonna... Just trust me, by the end of this scenario, you'll probably hate this guy as much as him. Anyways, as I was saying, before being interrupted by the jerk of this scenario, How is he still petrified when no one else still... God darn it, video game logic, will you make sense just once? I mean, it's, it's like back in the last town where this happened. The aforementioned father of Patrick, the little kid that survives. He crumbles! His stat... You know, there's, he turns to dust, literally. No one else does that, just him. Care to explain the logic of that? <laughs> Don't even bother trying. You'll just give yourself a migraine headache. <coughs> it happened because video games. That's why. I 
mean, I love video games. That much should be obvious by now. But story-wise, eh, the more complex I try to make the story, the more loopholes they leave. That leave people playing the game scratching their heads wondering how the hell that works. Another one of the reasons I kind of miss the old days when story and games were in the manual only. Once you put on the game and start playing it, what story? You're playing a video game, not reading a book or watching a movie. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I mean, you can't rely on what's his name there to do anything but whine. What is his name, anyways? Uh-huh. Dialogue confirmation. Patrick, the little kid from Regenstein. And freaking what was his name? The old guy. Clemens. The warrior that went out to scout for food and supplies. That when he came back, the rain was falling. And at the end of that chapter, they said they were going to spread the word about that rain. Here's the confirmation that they had done that. Apparently, they were a little too late for these people, but... So, even though they don't specify how much time has passed with any exact number, this is obviously happening after the whole Regenstein scenario did. Dill, that's a perfect name for such things. He's a dill, all right, a dill weed. I mean, <coughs> yeah, the jerk of this scenario, like autonomous was with the last one. Even his father knows what an idiot he is. All right. Now. Herbie, you don't look like a Volkswagen Beetle to me. Oh. What? Herbie the Love Bug. Old series of movies from the 60s, 70s, and into the early 80s. A racing, a racing drive itself. Volkswagen Beetle with number 53 painted on it. Herbie. Can't believe I'm referencing those movies. I haven't watched those since I was a little kid. Just whenever I see the name Herbie, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Even though it has been decades since I've watched any of those movies. 
Anyways, as I was going to say before being distracted, I think this is another one of those scenarios where you got to talk to everybody. But not just talk to everybody. That would be that would be annoying in and of itself, but here you got to do it in a specific order, which makes it even worse. Got to trigger these events one by one. Which is why I hate this whole scenario. Let's see, next. I think we go here. Upstairs. Yeah, okay, here we go. No, not! No, not really. Alright, well, just for the frick of it, let's see what happens. Uh, okay. Now, if I remember correctly, we step away. And, no, I guess not. I was going to say, she's, she darts off to another building in town, but I guess not. Okay, so... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I know. Not here. Back to the mansion, as they call it. Uh, upper levels. Or not, okay. Uh, uh. <coughs> huh. Yeah. You tell him, dude. Yeah, I really don't like this guy. Like, autom autonomous in the last chapter, or a certain prince character in the following game, Dragon Quest Eight, Charmley or Charmless. other characters in Dragon Quest games that I do not like. Uh. Hey, what the hell? No goody. It's General Hospital. It's a freaking soap opera. Yay! Just what I always wanted. Freaking love triangle, whatever, you know. Yippee! Whatever you say, dude. Uh, wait a minute, not down, not, not upstairs. Downstairs. And not into the kitchen either. At least not here now. 
either when we come back here in the future or in the present after having completed this sequence or even later in the game when we come back here optionally. Let's see, as far as this sequence goes... By the way, little detour, now that I'm thinking about it, what do we got for upgrades here? Ooh, the Edge Boomerang, cool. 23, ooh, I only have enough for one though. Alright, we're gonna have to do some grinding between videos. Not so much for experience levels, but for money. Actually, wait a minute. I just thought of that. Is the game even going to let me out of town right now? Okay, good, it does. Doesn't lock you. That's good. At least the game doesn't lock you into town until after you've completed this. At least it ain't that obsessed with its precious story that it locks you into town until you've completed it. So, yeah. Continue this progression a little further. Let's see, was it? Yeah, okay, there, there's Jackass. Why would she want to speak to you? Dillweed. Finances, huh? jackass over here making it worse. Look at this. I knew she did that at some point during this scenario. Bolts out of the house and head somewhere else. Actually, that's right. Now that I think about it, they have to let you out of town before the star story sequence is completed. Because part of this st whole scenario includes just that, leaving town, going somewhere else to get an item, kind of like back in Emberdale, that holy, holy water that you needed to get rid of that fire, that was supposed to be a fireball. But, you know. In fact, I think this is where it gets to prompting that point. I think. Some kind of medicine. Okay.
the side of the mountains over yonder. Well, that don't tell you much. I mean, if this were Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, we could just climb the mountains and get over there easily, but, um, yeah. Wrong game. Heck, wrong franchise for that matter. I mean, come on. If this is a Zelda game, I'm Elvis Presley. sure if we've actually gotten the dialogue that'll open it up since this game can be very picky about that sometimes and B for game for playthrough purposes I was thinking if there's anyone that just blatantly spells out where you gotta go I mean specifically tells you which personally I hate when they do that in games just might as well not even have a puzzle just tell you. Hey, stupid, you go here. I mean, this one didn't take as long to figure out, you know, probably because of the whole Emberdale sequence and the holy water and the fact that the description was vague, you know, grubby old man in a dark room or whatever it was, and the fact that I was thinking it was right there in Emberdale of the past before realizing the game lets you go back to your own time and then you go talk to Pike. Who, but at the point being that, well, that took a long time to figure out. This, not so much so after realizing that you, know, you can leave town and head back home to your time. Of course, you're not really doing that here, spoiler alert. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. Pick it up from here next time after a little bit of in-between video grinding a level or two and a lot of those upgrades edge boomerang for rough probably some armor for everybody anyways pick it up from here next time until then as always thanks for watching and see you next time bye I don't care what anyone says, I like the music in this game. I mean, I say that because there was one person in one of the Dragon Quest chats, stream chats I've been, the chats to the streams I've been watching, argues that the music is too repetitive. I mean, yeah, you got a lot of the same tracks, but what do you expect for a game this long? Anyways. See, uh...